Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well, this is my fourth instalment in our beginner series and it's on how to sight in a rifle scope. Now, those of you who have missed how to mount it, just have a look at the previous video and uh, you'll see the way that I do it. Now, sighting in a scope is something that a lot of people do take for granted, but there's a lot of people who are just getting into shooting and beginners that just find it a near on impossible task and they get given so much complicated information um, you know, it can be quite confusing. So all I'm going to do guys is give, just give you the Aussie Reviews no BS version of how I do it, okay? And it just simply works. So we've got our rifle here now. Obviously I've got a scope cam set up on it here. <laughs> I've got the bolt removed. I've got the turret caps taken off the actual scope because I'm pretty much ready to go and show you how I do this. So it's going to be a little bit difficult guys looking through the scope cam to do the sighting in but I actually want to show you what I'm looking at so that you get the best description and understanding of how this works. Now you'll probably hear about people talking about bore sighting. Now bore sighting a, a, a rifle simply means exactly that. You just look through the actual bore of the barrel and line up your target and make adjustments to your scope accordingly. Okay so all I'm going to do here is and I'll hit record so you can see on the scope cam so I've got the crosshairs right in the middle of the target okay but when I look through the actual bore I'm high and to the left so if I move the bore down looking directly at the dead center of the target I'm on there. But as you can see the crosshairs are slightly off to the right and they're also low. Now at this point guys this is where it gets a little bit confusing. If we were to fire now we would hopefully be somewhere around the center of the target. Now say just hypothetically we fired and the actual bullet impact was uh, dead center okay now obviously it's not dead center on the crosshairs so how do we change that the simple concept that you have to remember is wherever that bullet impact is and you want to adjust it adjust it to where you want the bullet impact to go okay may sound a little bit confusing but it's a very basic concept so in other words if you shoot high and to the right but you're aiming dead center you want it to go dead center okay you actually come down and over to the left. So we're going to go down on the turret and over to the left on the windage adjustment on the side. So elevation is on top, windage is on the side. Okay, so we'll just make a couple of adjustments here. So looking back at the scope cam, let me get all lined up, make sure I've got it where I'm happy with it. Okay, so I'm roughly about center there. So what we need to do is we need to actually get the crosshairs to come up. But the problem is when you actually <laughs> twist and turn in the up direction on the turret, watch what happens there on the elevation turret. Okay, I'm turning this up. See how the crosshairs go down? It actually goes in the opposite direction. That's why I say the easiest way to remember the concept is it's where you want the bullet impact to go. Okay? So what we need to do is here, if we're looking directly through and we've still got it lined up through the bore there, looking dead center, we need that bullet impact to come down to where the crosshairs are. So what we actually need to do is we need to go down on uh, the actual turret okay so the, the, I'm talking about the elevation turret here turn it down see how we're coming up and I keep going till roughly I'm in line with the center so what I need to do now is I need that bullet impact to come over to the right okay so on the actual windage I'm going to turn to the right 
which will actually move the crosshairs to the left. Okay, so you're confused yet? <laughs> I hope not guys. All you gotta do is just remember that concept. It's where you actually wanna move the bullet impact is the direction you choose on the windage, uh, the windage and elevation turret. Okay, that's the best way to remember this. Okay, so enough talk. Let's fire a couple of shots and see how we go. Okay guys, so our shot has actually gone high and to the right. So what we need to do, remember the concept and the way you turn the actual uh, turret. So we need it to simply come to the left and we need it to come down. So that's what adjustments we're going to make now. Okay, so looking through the scope cam here, let's put the crosshairs exactly where we were aiming, which is pretty much dead center. And we're going to move the uh, elevation turret down. Which will raise the crosshairs. So just keep going up till we get pretty much up to the level of where the other shots are. and then we want to come to the left. So on the actual windage turret, we're going to move it to the left, which will actually move the crosshairs to the right. Okay, now let's fire another two rounds. Okay guys, so we're getting a lot closer, aren't we? Now keep in mind, it's pretty sunny out here and I'm trying to look through that uh, scope cam on my phone. So, you know, look, I'm probably a bit off, but uh, what I'm gonna do now is just take away the scope cam and do the last adjustments looking through the scope so I can actually see what I'm doing. Now, from here, we're pretty much on center, aren't we? I don't think I'm actually gonna change the actual windage because, um, you know, I think it might be a bit of error with looking through that scope cam. So all I'm going to do is we're going to shift the bullet impact down, aren't we? So I'm going to actually bring uh, on the uh, elevation turret, turn it down just till it's on center there, and then we'll fire another couple of shots. Okay, so we're pretty much dead on. Um, just need to come over just that smidge more to the left. And I'd be very happy with that. Okay, so our last couple of shots are there, guys. It's starting to group quite nicely. We had, uh, we shot off there and I made some more adjustments to the left. I've still got to come over a little bit, okay? Probably oh, half an inch there. I need to make the adjustments for that. So I'll do that and just fine tuned a bit more. But with this, guys, you can get the concept now, I'm quite sure. So that's what this review is about. <laughs> Not accuracy or anything like that. It's just about sighting in. So. Look, I hope you enjoy the review, guys. Hopefully it's cleared up a few myths, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the actual footage of looking through and seeing how the crosshairs go in the opposite direction to what the actual turrets say. So just remember, keep that concept in mind that the easiest way to remember it is you turn the actual um, turrets in the direction that you want the bullet impact to change. 
All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. So till next time, we'll catch you then.